A major Canadian baker and the country's largest supermarket chain are offering compensation for a decade-long price-fixing scheme involving bread. George Weston Limited and Loblaws have issued a joint statement saying some bread makers increased prices on a coordinated basis. The scheme included both those companies as well as other major grocery chains. The statement says employees within George Weston and Loblaws who took part were fired. As compensation for the overcharging, eligible customers can go to loblawcard.ca and receive a $25 gift card. Tony Chapman is a brand and marketing expert, joins us now from Toronto. Tony, messing with our bread, seriously? Well, this is something that about a month ago came out in the media that the Competition Bureau was uh, undergoing criminal investigations about this. So I think Loblaw was very smart to get in front of this and uh, and take it, take control of the media before this completely broke open and you're suddenly playing reactive and defensive versus offense. Apparently, this is something that went on for decades. People can buy a lot of bread over decades. $25 gift card? Is that well, kind of you know, this is what happens when you have such vertical integration in the country. I mean, Loblaw and Western Foods were connected. There's a, a handful of bakeries, a handful of grocery stores, and everybody's trying to compete with very thin margins. So I guess the temptation sounds like in the middle ranks was to find a way to uh, to deliver that bottom line. $25 gift card. I mean, the thing that's more important, I think, for Loblaw and the thing that's causing them alarm is not the $25. More important is that they have immunity from any further criminal investigation or fine. What it's going to cost them alarm is not even the cost of putting out a $25 gift card, because that's going to get everybody in Canada to go after it, mm -hmm. which means a lot of traffic to their stores. And if they do right, they'll convert some of those consumers. The real cause is, of concern is the world is moving on to the value segment in grocery. Amazon's coming, and Loblaws already has a stigma of being expensive. So this is not going to do justice or to help their brand in any way. Uh, so, so you're saying that this could be a hit to their brand, but with the uh, increase in store traffic, they could actually benefit from this. Well, they're priming the pump. I mean, let's let's. At what Canadian won't go online and get a twenty-five dollar grocery card? So that's going to cost them a lot of money. Well, people go in. We know statistically, if you have a, a any kind of prepaid card or gift card you get at Christmas, you have a propensity to spend more. Many people might get that card and never shopped at Loblaw, blah, never were involved with paying more for bread at Loblaw, blah, but they're going to look around and if they like their cheese wall and like what's happening in Delhi and some of the other things that Loblaws does, very innovative grocer, there's a good chance they'll stick around. So it's, it's an expensive way to prime their pump. I, believe me, they'd rather give away the $25 gift card without the stain and stink of a, a, a bread scandal. And they're the ones that are being talked about, even though what it sounds like is this is something that's been going on allegedly on a national basis and involving other bakers and other uh, retailers. Is there always going to be a trust issue now or do th does uh, the, co the uh, consumer just move on from this? I think it, trust in general is disappearing on a society when it comes to institutions, government and brands. We just don't trust them the way we used to because uh, time after time. What, what does happen when they're all in this company is that we tend to forget about the instant and just move on. But the overall snowball effect is you know, I'm a consumer and I'm not being taken care of. Tony Chapman uh, joining us in Toronto. Tony, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.